Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Prison Architect Alpha 58. Sorry, Alpha 23 with Flying Fent. This is episode 58, that's what I meant to say. Um, and this looks a little weird. I'm actually just going to pause this until we get the lights up, and then I'll talk about what's going on here. Alright, that's good enough. Um, okay, so you might be looking at this and thinking, what the heck did you do? What did I do? He's in the kitchen. Oh, I see it. Auto saved over the oversave. Uh, auto saved over the auto save. Fair enough. Um, I was doing some planning, but before I get into that, things are a little weird. You know, in the previous episode, we had completely filled in the kitchen. We had demolished this section of wall. We had filled it. So you might be saying, this is like episode. This is when you started the last episode, but it's not. Part of this, at the start of the last episode, if you recall, we were still expanding out, we were still building the foundations here and here. What happened is that after the last, last episode, I went to save the game, and the game crashed. Um, so I thought of redoing the last episode, but this is actually like halfway through. So I figured, uh, forget about it. We just get to redo half of it. It'll be, it'll be more fun that way. Um, the other thing I was thinking is that I'd like to have more kitchens. Just because, and that's how this got dezoned. I was doing some planning and accidentally dezoned everything and changed some of the planning in here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually put some of that planning back. I was trying to think of a better way to do the kitchen, and uh, I couldn't come up with one. So we'll stick with this. Um, okay, good. Uh, I thought if I could cut it horizontally and have like one kitchen just do cooking and one do cleaning and one do because I wanted to get I want to get more kitchens going. The problem is if I just zone this as one kitchen. The maximum inmates that you can have helping out per kitchen is 20. And that's, I like, the more kitchens I have, the more inmates I can do. Now, I know multiple kitchens are broken, and if this turns out not to work, then I'll undo it, and we'll just go with one kitchen and 20 inmates, and fine, be done with it. What I'd like to try is something like this. Kitchens. And say, let's call this one kitchen. It'll be less than 20 inmates, but it'll be... You know, it'll still be better than, it'll be less than 20 inmates per kitchen, but it'll still be better than what we have now, uh, which is 20 inmates tops. So that'll be my second kitchen. This will be my third kitchen. And this will be my fourth kitchen. And then over here, this will be my fifth kitchen. Um, the problem is with the room, this the size of this room, we can fit, assuming no lost space, which we have to have, right? We have to separate the kitchens. You could separate them with a wall, but I thought I'll just separate them with blank space. It's easier. Um, assuming this works, which I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, the maximum we could hold would be 4.4 kitchens. So we're not going to fit 4.4 uh, because of the blank spaces. Uh, that's 4.4 at optimal capacity, right? 4.4 kitchens that can hold 20 inmates each, which is 240 tiles per kitchen. I tried all kinds of various different methods to make... I couldn't make it work. I couldn't make it work out that way. Uh, I can get three kitchens at 20 inmates per kitchen, um, but I think this will be better. And we will see... It's going to be tricky because we're not going to be able to see until we kind of have it all filled out, right? Um, because every kitchen is going to need a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. So I'm going to go ahead and stick cooker, fridge, sink, cooker, fridge, sink, cooker, fridge, sink, run the electricity, which means it's going to cost a lot to get all the electrical um, substations in. But then we'll be able to see exactly how efficient our kitchen is and whether we'll be better, we'll be better off with three kitchens at 20 people each or five kitchens at whatever random numbers these work out to. I think this will work out to more than 60 inmates working. So we'll be better off with this in the end, but I don't feel like counting because of the, the weird shapes of them. And I mean, it's not trickier. I can do this minus that, and I can do this plus these. So it wouldn't be too hard to calculate it, but I, just, I can't be bothered. Honestly, I just can't be bothered, especially with the reality that of realizing that the um, the save game was lost, and uh, and I'm basically redoing part of an episode. I just can't be bothered to be that detailed about it. If I'm completely honest, hmm. Excuse me, I didn't mean to yawn. Uh, it's actually been a while since I recorded. I went ahead and got my Europa Universalis uh, series up and online. I figured I'll, I'll get something up. Uh, I have parts of this already online as well, but it's probably been a solid week, week and a half even, uh, maybe since I last recorded. I played around with my audio a little bit. It was a little quiet. 
It was a little kind of vibrating, um, echoey. So I kind of undid some stuff in there, trying to make it a little bit better. We'll see if this works. It's a bit of a, I'm in a bit of a difficult situation in terms of audio because I don't have an ideal setup. I'm kind of in a room that has a fair bit of echo. Um, and it's not feasible for me to move to another room to do this. You know, the only room I have available is my bedroom, which does not have room for my computer stuff. Um, because of all the other junk I've got in there, I could move some of that stuff. But it would just be a lot of work. That's kind of what I'm getting at here. Okay, so let's look at jobs. Can we not, uh, oh, it has to be indoors. What oh, is indoors? So basically these, is this not recognized as a kitchen either? Okay, these two are recognized as kitchens. But I can't assign them jobs. Which makes me think, for inmates to be able to work, they have to be fully enclosed with walls. Um, and I'm not about to put walls in all these places. I could put walls, I suppose, here. And kind of go this way. Would that be big enough? Let me just take one quick second here and think about this. With this area, which is 7 by 18, right, starting here? Yeah. So 7 by 18, let me get my calculator open. 7 by 18 plus this area here, uh, which is 26 by 4. Oh, it's definitely big enough. 6 by 4. What? Okay, that makes more sense there. Calculator. It came up with totally like a thousand and something. And I was like, yeah, it's definitely not a thousand and something. And then one, two. Do I have at least ten there? I do. So I could possibly. No, I want rooms. I want rooms. I want kitchen. I'm just going to diesel. Uh, no, I'm just gonna put that back. I'm just gonna dezone half here, so I can kind of zone it in how I'm thinking, uh, and show you what I'm what I'm thinking. Uh, so I could do that. That would be wall. Did I count that as wall? I don't think I counted that as wall. And in fact, you can have this as well. Um, so is this this this? If I just take half. Let me go back to planning. We take half of what I just designated, which is, you know, I'm just going to do this way, 28, 28 as 60, 28, 60, 28, 60, and 63, 28 plus 60 plus 63, oh, not 663, 28 plus 60 plus 63, doubled is over 300. Okay, and then what about rooms, 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 uh, kitchen, kitchen, what is, what is it? 13 times 13, yeah, I don't know that one off the top of my head, 13 times 13, 120, am I doing this right? 13 times 13, 120. 48. Yeah, so that's big enough too. So I felt if I put door uh, walls here, I could do three kitchens that are walled in. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put down the rooms, so to speak. I will designate the rooms. Uh, and this came over here, not here, oh, and also, oh, autosave, autosave in progress. Oh, I didn't start my timer, and I, don't even, I actually don't even have my timer here. Oh, see, this is what happens when you take a week off, you forget your whole workflow. I suppose you've been doing this for a while, you wouldn't do that, it would be second nature to you. So I can put walls in here, I get rid of these doors, you just put doors kind of in the hallways leading to and from the other rooms. Um, and for those, I will probably use staff. Can I lock open staff doors? I can. 
So all you staff bonus, oh, and there's obviously this did not get done. There we go. Um, so these doors will go, and these doors will go. And that's fine, I suppose. I suppose. Um, unless I want to do, yeah, I might do, oh, uh, can I? Yes, I can. I can do that. And then this kitchen will get this bit. And then I can do the same thing over here. How much does this do I have to remove? Three of them. And then this kitchen will get... Oh, I can't... No, that's not going to work because there's a cooker in the way. Good plan, but it failed. Miserably. Okay, yeah, so these doors will go away. I'll put in walls. Uh, and then these doors will remain here. And these doors will go away here, and I'll have doors here. Okay. Um, yeah. It's not ideal. You know? Um, but it'll work. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then just let me go ahead and try double checking my math here. And we're looking at 33 times 6, 180 and 18, 198. 198 plus 9. I'm already at 280 something. Alright. And then this here is going to be. Uh, what is it? 120 and 12, so 132. 132, oh, 19 times 3. That one's not as easy to do. 30 plus. 4 times 7. Did I start at the right place there? Uh, yeah, it should, it should work. It should work. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the walls yet because I'm not at that point. I've got a power run um, and whatnot before I need to worry about that. Uh, but it does mean... No, you know what I was gonna say? It doesn't mean I, need, I don't need that metal detector. It doesn't mean I don't need it. I can move it somewhere, but I'm gonna need the metal detectors for other places anyway. It's not like I'll just have extra metal detectors, so I will go ahead and slap one down there because I need one there and slap one down here because I need one here even though that one's probably going to go away eventually. It will be there initially, so let's put it in. Okay, so that takes care of fixing the kitchen. Uh, we have, how long is this going for? 13 minutes, okay. We've got a couple more minutes. Um, waiting for guard to show up here. We have, what else do we do last episode that's not getting done? I believe we set up patrols that did not get done. Yeah. So this guard patrol will go here, and then this guard patrol goes where? Here? Yeah. And it's around two tables. And then there's a gap of two tables, and then this guard patrol is around two tables. And the last guard patrol inside here is right there. Okay, then dog patrols I had set up um, here. And here, as well as here, and here. Okay. And that gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I had one in deliveries. Which I'm going to put back, because I think that was a good idea. So that's nine. And I talked about putting one here, and then I didn't. And I think I will. Uh, maybe not. Actually, maybe not. Nine. Visitation might not be a bad one. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put dog patrol in visitation. But visitors get sniffed. Um, 
And this, the nice thing is, I, was, I talked as well, I could, I could put one in the holding cell, because the holding cell is kind of a hot bit, and I might have even put one in the holding cell. Um, but the thing is, all the inmates that will go in the holding cell will get dropped off at deliveries first, so they'll get smelled there. So that's fine. So what did I get in the end? One, two, three, four, let me just see, it's four per side, right? So eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. And uh, I had hired 12 dogs last time, and I think that's a good plan. I'm going to stick with that, 12 dogs. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and you double this number. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then let's hire the dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, armed guards, I have four. I think that's enough. If we check our deployment, armed patrols, I just have two. Yeah, I didn't. I had put one in the yard to try and get their uh, my security rating up, and I might just put one back there. Because there's certainly everyone goes to the yard, you know. And if I put him right here, he covers all the entrances in. Um, He's kind of being hung up to dry there, though. He's all by himself, no backup. I might do another one right here. That's kind of like his support. So there'll be four armed guards I have for. I need to hire two more armed guards if I'm going to do that. The question is, do I want to do that? Do I want to have armed guards? Well, you can assign armed guards to normal patrol, too, like patrols for other things. Like, I could put armed guards... Oh, oh, gee. Hmm. Ooh. The nice thing about armed guards, I was going to say the nice thing is that they have tasers. The downside is they have guns. And I say that's a downside because um, if they lose a fight, if there's a riot and they get taken out, now inmates are armed. I really don't want that. I'm not even happy about the fact that these guys walk through the prison to get to the armory uh, and the staff, uh, they don't go to the staff room. But I'm not happy about the fact that they walked through the prison to get to the armor. Oh, sorry, the armory down here. Um, I should have thought that out. I should have put the armory here, you know, or something like that, or you know, even even here. That might have been a good idea. So then, when they're ready for break, they just go outside. That would be fantastic. Oh, why didn't I think of that? I, know, I realize I could still move the armory. It's not carved in stone where it is. Um, then what, what would I put here? <laughs> Uh, I suppose I could put the morgue there, maybe? If I could put ten, I could fit ten morgue slabs in here, that could be the morgue. Maybe, maybe. Um, and if I did that, let me see, where would I put my armory? I'd probably just put it right here, right inside the wall. So, like, the fence would uh, be broken up against the armory. Put it right across from the uh, security office. Oh, I can't build there. I have to build here. Does the armory have a minimum size? I don't think it does. Um, these are in alphabetical. For some reason, I thought they'd be alphabetical. I don't know why. I've been playing this game for a while, and they've never been alphabetical. It does not need to be the minimum size, but I do need to fit table objects, which would be one, two, three, four, and a two-wide guard locker, or a two-wide weapon rack, plus two lockers, and that would look weird in here. Um, could the wall right up against the thing, and I put two in here, put the entrance here, the uh, weapon locker, I could, like sink it into the wall, and then have room for three guard lockers, the three armored guards, but I have four armored guards, I can put more lockers on this side. And I have my weapon locker at the back. And in fact, it would be really cool. I have an idea. I have an idea, and I think this is going to look really cool. Uh, let me give me one quick second here to kind of figure out how I want to do this. So I would do four here. And I would do three across the back, but I'd want a space. If I would do this, no, I wanted walls for that. This, this, this close here, that can go away. 
That would be my armory. Four weapons lockers. A, uh, is that, I might be using the wrong terms here. Um, four, where are they in this list? Four of things. Um, am I blind? Weapon rack. Guard, guard locker. Four guard lockers, table, a fifth guard locker, and a weapon rack. And then I got two guards patrolling outside. Um, I could assign an armed guard. The thing is, now I'm, if I'm not adding more, you know, it never hurts to be future proof. I think I'm going to do this. This will become my morgue. I can extend my infirmary down. Yep. 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 Uh huh. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my armory outside. And then I will never have weapons inside my prison. Uh, it would be nice to have weapons inside my prison, and maybe once I reach, you know, once I'm fully built and I have it closed, I may do that. I may move them inside uh, and put some weapons inside to raise my score, but for now, I'm going to put my armory outside. Uh, but I think, let me just check the time real quick. Uh, where did it go? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's all going to be a future episode. If you enjoyed this video, Please remember to uh, to leave a like. It really does help my channel grow, and I know that I certainly do appreciate it. And if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.